Lyra stepped off the bus and onto the worn pavement of New Orleans' French Quarter. The air was thick with magic, and she could feel the city's energy coursing through her veins. She'd always been drawn to this place, where the veil between worlds was thin and the Fae roamed free. As a half-Fae, half-human, Lyra had grown up feeling like an outsider. Her mother, a powerful fairy, had disappeared when Lyra was a teenager, leaving her with more questions than answers. But Lyra had always felt a connection to this city, and she hoped that attending Wisteria Academy, a prestigious school for magical beings, would help her find her place. The Academy's gothic spires loomed above her, casting long shadows across the cobblestone streets. Lyra felt a shiver run down her spine as she pushed open the heavy wooden doors and stepped into the grand foyer. Inside, she found herself surrounded by students of all shapes and sizes, each with their own unique brand of magic. Lyra's eyes landed on a tall, dark-haired boy with piercing green eyes. Rowan Blackwood, the Academy's most eligible bachelor, was rumored to be hiding secrets of his own. As Lyra navigated the Academy's ancient halls, she discovered a world of magic and mystery. She befriended a group of misfit students, including Rowan, and together they uncovered a dark plot to exploit the city's magical energy. But Lyra's mother was at the heart of it all. She'd been using her fairy magic to drain the city's power, and Lyra was determined to stop her. As she confronted her mother, Lyra realized that she was not who she seemed. She was a powerful sorceress from a rival fairy court, and her true intention was to use the city's magic to overthrow the current fairy queen and claim the throne for herself. Lyra was torn. She loved her mother, but she knew that she had to stop her. With Rowan's help, she used her own magic to banish her mother and shatter the dark spell that had been cast over the city. As the sun rose over the French Quarter, Lyra felt a sense of pride and accomplishment. She'd found her place in the world, and she knew that she would always stand up for what was right. And as she walked hand in hand with Rowan through the city's winding streets, Lyra knew that she had found her true love,